Get rich fast with CSGOFAST.com. ESL Pro League Season 4 Finals, uh, Day 4 is here and, that, and that's the quarterfinals day, so you guys have, have a day off. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the group stage uh, quickly because uh, some of the results were quite surprising to me. Uh, well, first of all, you played NIP on, on Kabul and it was kind of, a, it was kind of an under, underwhelming uh, performance from you guys, so what can you tell us about that? Uh, hello everybody. The first map, we made some mistakes on our executions and the way we were playing. And after losing for NIP, we went to discuss what our mistakes were, and I, I, and I guess we, we understood correctly what we're missing for us to execute properly and start winning more rounds on cobblestone. And I guess we proved it on the next game. So basically, we had an off game and some mistakes that we had to change some stuff. Yeah. So touching on cobble again, you you picked it into Dignitas, which was quite quite surprising to a lot of people. Um, yeah. What was the thinking behind it? Was there a lot of preparation going towards them, or was it just like overall fixing the mistakes on cobble? Uh, we didn't have many many a choice against them. We could play Mirage or Cobblestone and right now we're not feeling that good on Mirage. And I mean it's of course a very strong map for us since we started playing outside Brazil in CSGO. But we feel that we need to get better in other maps such as Nuke and Cobblestone to evolve our, our, our map pool. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to play Cobblestone against them, we kind of prepared against what they could do and we knew that it's a strong map for Dignitas but as the previous game against NIP showed us, you know, we took the correct decisions on what to fix and how to fix it. We knew what to do against Dignitas and what to be done differently than we did on the first map. Alright, uh, so lastly I want to touch on the NRG game because that was kind of a close one, at least towards the start. Uh, yeah, what happened on the first side because that was like five, only five rounds out on TIA if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so we lost the pistol round and then we got some rounds and then we lost an eco. Something, I, I'm not sure if we lost an eco or something. But the problem against them, being honest, I was super tired. We had to wait for two or three hours to play that match and it was like midnight already or something like that. So, speaking for myself, I was very exhausted. Uh, I did awake at 8 or 9 a.m. So, a long day of watching games and preparing me ourselves and playing some games. So, it's pretty difficult to play that match very focused. And NRG is a pretty good team. I mean, they did a very good job on this group stage. Even if, if you see only the score, I think they didn't win any single map. But they are pretty close of winning two or three times. So they could be going out of the group stage. So it's just a question of details and some rounds. So NRG is a very good team. And we should respect them more. All right, so placing first in group, you, you secure your, your place in the semifinals, and you're going to be meeting the, the winner of NIP and NVS uh, in the semifinals tomorrow. Uh, first of all, is there a preference for you? Uh, I don't think there's a preference. Uh, right now I'm here standing in front of TV, they're just playing. NIP is winning, by the way. So if we play NIP, we're going to have the chance to revenge them from the group stage. If we play NVS, quite a long time, we don't see them. So I think both matches are going to be interesting. Uh, we still need to check which maps we're going to play against NF then. I didn't have time to do it yet, so... N of them. We need to be at our best to beat N of them. All right. Uh, is th those two are actually quite a quite different matchup because N of us like to play quite loosely, while NIP have a more of a structured style. So yeah, is there uh, for you specifically? Do you think you you prefer one of the play styles better, maybe? Uh, NIP is the kind of team that you sometimes you know what they're gonna do, but they are so good doing it that you can't stop it. And as I say, NIP is a more freestyle game. Uh, I think they're playing super early well with Sixer. Kenny has played amazingly, so it's pretty different to play against those teams, but I don't have any preference. I think it's different games to be played, but we, I'm sure we can do well against any of them. Alright, now I obviously have to ask about the crowd because you are at home and you are playing uh, with the home crowd behind you. So yeah, what does it mean to you to, to perform here at, at Pro League? I really can't describe what it means. Uh, it's uh, such a unique feeling. Uh, I have been experiencing a lot of things in Counter-Strike since I have been playing this game for so, so long, but that's the first time I actually have a stadium and people from my country cheering for us and motivating us, so it's quite unique. Uh, I don't think I ever felt the, this feeling of being playing in front of so many people that's actually f cheering for me, so it's just awesome and I want to make them proud tomorrow. Alright, any last uh, shout outs, final, uh, final thoughts or anything? Yeah, thanks for everyone who have been watching us. Uh, thanks for all the Brazilian fans who came up at the stadium. Thanks for yourself for hosting an event here. It's, I think it's, despite having some problems, of course it's our first time having something quite big like this. Everything is perfect. Uh, even for the problems, I, th I think the atmosphere is great. Things are being well treated and the tournament is good so far. Alright, thank you very much again. Uh, we're going to see you more, uh, hopefully, throughout the, the rest of the day because we have the two quarterfinals going on right now. So yeah, stay tuned to HLTV.org as we're going to bring more interviews.